This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Tuesday, January the 1st, 2019. Today is the first day of the year, at least it is now, since the time of Christendom. Most countries celebrated the new year on the Feast of the Assumption of Mary on March the 25th. The Grand Duchy of Lithuania started the shift to January the 1st back in 1362. The Holy Roman Empire, along with Spain and Portugal, Prussia and France, switched over in the 16th century. Scotland switched in 1600, and Russia in 1700, and the UK in 1752. Thailand held out until 1941. On this day in 1863, President Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation came into force. It freed the slaves in the Confederacy, which wasn't actually part of the United States, but because it was part of the War Powers Act, didn't have any effect upon the parts of the nation that weren't in rebellion. And so it didn't have any real effect at all. But it was an important symbolic statement and an essential part of the journey for the civil rights of African Americans. Today in 1773, an English hymn titled 1 Corinthians 17, 16 through 17, was first used to accompany a sermon led by the Reverend John Newton in the town of Olney, Buckinghamshire, England. When the hymn came to the U.S., it was renamed to Amazing Grace. In the church, it's the solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God, and the octave day of Christmas. We celebrate the true humanity and the true divinity of Jesus Christ. But it's only been that way for about half a century. For the previous 1,800 years, today was the solemnity of the circumcision of Jesus, a graphic image of the first blood that Jesus shed for us from his very first days on earth. Today is also the birthday of Jerome David Salinger, 1919 to 2010. His most famous book was Catcher in the Rye, but his most lovable character came from his short stories. In Banana Fish, we meet young Seymour Glass, the precocious son of two vaudevillians. Here's a haiku from Salinger, written for young Seymour. The little girl on the plane who turned her doll's head around to look at me. A haiku from J.D. Salinger for his fictional character Seymour Glass. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.